get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now. Coogan Cassis, Eiffel TV and the social... Whose phone's that? Uh, Yours. <laughs> Coogan Cassis, Eiffel TV and association with Macklin's in Marbella. With me, I have Tommy Martin. Tony Cook. How are you? A lot better since the last interview. Yeah, I know. Yeah. A bit fresh then, yeah. sinking in. Yeah, so uh, what have you been doing since then? Um, literally after our interview, I get a phone call from Charlie and uh, he flew me straight out to Spain. And um, yeah, just been working alongside him, and um, while well, Stanley's been away, and just helping him through this training camp for his comeback. Yeah. Is it important for you that you stay in boxing in whatever capacity to sort of help you get over it as, as much as anything Definitely. else? Definitely. Do, do you know what? I was I was actually in Marbella, yeah, and at the time I, I flew my bird out there, and I flipping was watching boxing. Was watching, I tell you, what, it was Southpaw, and it really hurt me. Like I said, right, it got to about five minutes in, I was like, right, turn that off, turn that off. I've had enough of it. But then watching it kills me. But then when I'm actually hands on, like with Charlie, and when, when I was doing the pads, I loved it. Do you know? So it does, it does, it gives me that little bit back. But um, I think it's just going to take time, Coop. I think it's just going to, one, time's a great healer, they say, don't they? So mm. if I can still be involved in training and managing my own fighters, then hopefully it'll be like I'm living it through them. I understand Macklin's gym up have been fantastic, obviously, through, through this time for you and have, have really helped you, um, you know, on, on all different levels. Definitely, without without Anto and Daniel Garmin, mate, I'd, I'd be in a bad place. But they've got me they've got me focused on things now. They've got me on business courses. They've got me you know, basically going back to school, learning, and um, yeah, hopefully I've got a bright future with them. That's ironic. You've only been out of school for a year, and you're back. There. <laughs> you're back there. I look like it. I look like it. you're back there. But um, like I said, it, it's still kind of fresh. It's going to take a little bit of time. And when you find your feet in, what you're going to be doing moving forward, then I'm sure. You know, that's what it is. Everyone keeps saying to me, "Oh, um, every, every everything happens for a reason, and all that." But I've just still I've still got to find that reason, you know. And that's what's scary for me at the minute. Like I'm one of these people that like people say, "Just get your head straight first, and then we'll find something." But I need something to get my head straight. Like I need something to focus on. And at the minute, Charlie, thank God, to Char finding Charlie because he has took that that off me, you know. And I've put all my focus in on him. I've been getting up early mornings, doing his runs with him, getting him in the gym, you know. And it's 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 nice to have a little schedule and. Um, with him around me, it's, it has helped me through my dark time, so I can't thank him enough. So, is the plan to sort of spend some of your time or most of your time out in Spain? Definitely, listen, if there's work out there for me, I'll be out there, you know. I was just listen, just waiting to hear from Anto, seeing what they've got planned for me. And um, But at the minute, I'm going to focus on Saturday night for Charlie and then um, go from there. All right. Anything else you want to get off your chest? No, don't need to shout any more sponsors out anymore. Them oh. times are gone. <laughs> But uh, no, it's just it's just finding the norm, finding the norm. And but uh, we smashed our last interview, by the way. It was good. It was good. It was good. It was, it was good. like a speech. It was like <laughs> I don't know if you saw Andrea Scarpa's speech yesterday. No, nah, was uh, it like that? Did you see it? Twenty-one thousand views. Oh yeah, twenty-one thousand views. So no, the Scarpa's speech <laughs> nearly done yours. Oh, did it? Was, uh, he read oh, it out. It was, watch it if you find it. Watch it. It's great. But um, no, it wasn't. <laughs> no um, more sorry. scripts. Um, all right, well, listen, thank you very much for talking to... Uh... Any young, hungry fighters out there? At me. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. I'm enjoying it. I'm loving training. I'm loving training the boys. I think me or James might let you take on us, uh, take us on as a project. Yeah? Yeah. Have a good little episode. Get down to a bit of weight and then... 100%. Uh... Little camp, little boot camp. Gun little camp. Boo. Gun camp. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded wrong. All right, Tom, listen, Lovely. we'll catch up with you soon, all right? Cheers, mate. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much.